Hello there Aries, welcome to your tarot reading. Um, so when I was shuffling out the spread, I got two main images for you. So I'm going to relay that first and then we'll go into the reading, okay? Uh, first of all, I'm feeling this is like a corporate type of office uh, environment, okay? There's like about three or four people already in a brick room. It looks like a lunch room, a dining hall, or like um, a place where employees or the staff goes in to have their lunch. And so there's already people in there and they're kind of like in a circle, kind of just talking, bantering. And then you walk in and then they get all quiet, okay? And I want to assure you guys that um, the word that comes up is uh, is a subject of much debate, okay? Like gossip, um, hearing things through the grapevines and things like that. So that image is conjuring up these messages for me. And I don't feel like it's done in a bad way. I feel like you might be in some type of a new environment where people are kind of walking around on eggshells around you. They're not really sure who you are, what you're about. And they're, um, they're, it, it's almost like they've already have their established clique of people and you're kind of like the outsider walking in. And the people in that clique or in that group situation, in that environment, they're not really sure whether or not to include you into the fold or whether or not to you know get to know you or whether or not to invite you so I feel like there's a little bit a bit of a standoffish energy between you and a group of people in in some type of a setting okay I feel like it might be in the work environment uh, more than anything and I feel like um, the way that you're coming across I'm sensing that there's a lot of trepidation from your end. There's a lot of hesitation, okay? The two energies that represent your energy in this spread is we have here the Nine of Wands as well as the Seven of Wands, okay? This is kind of like, to me, you know, once burned, twice shy, okay? So whatever contentious situation you've had to deal with in your past, I would say the Seven of Wands, this is a, a, a very, you know, aggressive type of energy okay this is sort of like i'm going to you know uh exert my energy out there to make some changes and to get things going the way that i want and never mind who is against me so i feel like you've made some drastic major changes of your own volition and you might have felt like you're in your environment other people might not have agreed with you, okay? This is sort of like taking a stance, okay? Regardless of what others tell us, we feel like this is the right thing to fight for, this is the right thing to, to do, or this is the right course of action to take. And we're not really heeding a lot of other people's uh, in, um, advice, or we're, we're not really asking for other people's advice. This is like jump right in, um, you know, act now, um, assess the situation later. And I feel like there might have been a situation in the past where this energy um, exhibited itself, where you felt like you were in survival mode, where you felt like where you felt like you have to give it your all and you felt like you were, you know, fighting against the tides. And so in the aftermath of this energy, you know, the smoke and the wreckage and everything that has uh, come on as a result of this really fierce um, standing up for your beliefs and this really fierce battle and this really contentious, pretty much contentious situation. You're now exhibiting this energy where you're coming in a very, very, very standoffish, okay? You have your guard up. You're constantly like assessing your environment, being hyper vigilant, and um, as well, it, I, I feel like it denotes a little bit of paranoia. So the energy for this month is very very soft and subtle and it's also really stable and i feel like the advice for you here is to kind of get a, a, away from this mentality okay like me against the world or me against all odds um i feel like the energy is a lot more about camaraderie it's a lot more about you know allowing people into your space not thinking about worst case scenarios and especially not letting your guard up so much that you kind of like um automatically i, I want to say like um you know uh repel 
the good energies trying to come in for you okay this is a, a lot about skepticism this is a lot about self-preservation and a lot about survival mode and i feel like you know whatever you've had to contend with in the past you're out of it and you're in a much more harmonious environment and i feel like you you can kind of you know put the wands down and stop fighting and stop um living in that space of conflict okay um, what I'm hearing going along with that very first message and these two cards, you know, um, you are a topic of much debate and I feel like it's not in a bad way. It's not in a vindictive, conniving, you know, gossipy way. I feel like you're just the topic of much chatter and I'm sensing as well, you're keeping your nose to the grindstone in a new environment. Okay. This could be in a new home. This could be in a new job. This could be in a new social setting. Um, I feel like others see you as someone who is very standoffish, who is nose to the grindstone, nose to the grindstone, minding your own business, letting other people be and just, you know, working on yourself, working on your craft, working on honing in and, and just being responsible for the things that you are entrusted with. So I feel like you're not in a position where you want to socialize. And then I'm also seeing as well, other people around you are just a little bit trepidatious about, you know, does that Aries want to join us? Does that Aries want to go grab lunch with us? Does that Aries want to join in and partake in this conversation? Or do they want to, you know, just be left alone? So I feel like your energy is a little bit about like, um, I'm hearing, I'm not here to make friends. I want to be left alone. But then I do feel like, you know, a, a big part of you also want to be included you like that inclusion you like that sense of camaraderie and i feel like people are not really sure how to approach you so i would say the advice here is you know soften up a little bit um you know try to be try try to allow yourself to to enter the fold without feeling defensive without feeling that sense of oh maybe they don't really want me here maybe i'm overstepping my boundaries maybe i don't belong to this group or maybe i don't belong to this um this click and you know I, if i if i walk in i might sound a little bit desperate a little bit needy and so i feel like it's important for you to realize that some of these uh, preconceived notions of other people might not be valid and they do want you to include you into the fold but they don't really know how okay so take that how it it may this might be like a, a situation that you're already dealing with at the end of september and you're not really sure how to navigate this social environment but i feel like softening up your energy would be very conducive okay um the second image that i'm seeing for you i don't know if many of you are dealing with like children who are growing they could be your children they could be children you're taking care of and um i'm also seeing like animals like small animals that might be uh dealing with a growth spurt like growing pains okay um so what i'm seeing is i see this person uh, with like a little doggy bolt, okay? And there's a puppy, like a white puppy on the floor. And uh, the person is filling, all, all I see is the hands and then the doggy bowl. The person is filling up the, the bowl for the dog and the dog is really hang, uh, it's really hungry and it's very anxious. And as soon as the person moves the bowl near the dog, the dog goes out and grabs it, okay? So that's bad behavior. The dog grabs it and then it knocks the pellets over, it knocks the bowl off the person's hand. Okay, so the, the words or the message that comes along with that image is the hand that feeds, okay? The hand that feeds. And so I feel like there is a situation here where some of you could physically, like I said, be dealing with um, some type of, um, like somebody that you're taking care, for, care of. And I feel like, you know, they're a little bit frustrated. They're a little bit uh, impatient and I'm also sensing like they're exhibiting um, traits that are not entirely um, great traits, okay? Um, I'm seeing some people, for example, if you've been traveling a lot for business and then you're coming home to your spouse and to your child, the child might, um, the child might, you know, um, be like attention seeking and it might exhibit like uh, he or she might exhibit, you know, traits that are not great like attention seeking wanting that attention from you because you've been away for so long but with children the way that they display you know uh 
emotion is that they they misbehave right like they don't know how to voice it they don't know how to verbalize their feelings and so they they kind of lash out or they do things to seek attention or they do things to draw attention to themselves which is not entirely positive and then i'm also seeing you know with with animals you might have chill you sorry um I conflate children and animal because like they're both small objects and so when I'm seeing it I, I'm just gonna say what I hear and some people might take offense to that and I don't mean to say you know children are like little animals I don't mean that at all I just mean like what I'm seeing is just exactly what I'm going to say okay so I feel like there might be children or young animals who are growing okay so they're they might be experiencing you know like for example you have children going through puberty they might be have that hormonal swing and they might lash out and you're just like what's wrong with you 15 minutes ago you were so well behaved and sweet and cuddly and cute and now you're just like you know this bag of emotions and then I'm also seeing like um, children or animals who might be teething and they might be feverish they might be um, just feeling ill and and when they're ill and they can't really express themselves then they kind of you know bite down okay so I, I'm sensing here that there is somebody that you're taking care of and you know normally they're very sweet and cute and demure and just you know nice and 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 um, just very sweet but for some some of you for this month, I feel like they're either attention seeking, they're either needing a lot more attention and, and, and time and resources from you, or they're feeling frustrated. Like it's it's like inner ailments and it doesn't have a way to manifest itself. So it manifests in anger and frustration and just erratic behavior and just um, exhibiting traits that are not great okay and and so i feel like you might be a little bit taken back and you might just be like you know i wonder what that was about so that's what i'm sensing here um be patient with the people that you're dealing with because what i'm sensing is there's more than meets the eye okay and like there there are definitely underlying causes that might not be visible to the eye okay so if you're dealing with mom and dad and they're behaving very irritable or saying things just out of character they might be you know experiencing like uh, physical symptoms like arthritis uh, joint pains they might just be you know feeling the weight of their mortality right like especially if they're elderly so just be patient with that and just know that it's it's not like a permanent state of being it's just something they're dealing with for this month okay so I feel like you're also asked to be a lot more gentle a lot more understanding all right um, the next thing that I'm going to talk about here based on this spread here is um, I feel like there is definitely voyages and journeys that you are planning to take okay we have here the fool and the fool is all about a great change okay this is like uh, traveling lightly um, I'm drawn to this bag and you know he doesn't have much in that belongings right so what it seems to me is is a short trip it's a trip that might be overnight you know one two three days it, it could be over the weekend it, it could just be in the greater scheme of things in the great span of your life it's a very very short trip and so you're not bringing all your baggage with you you're not bringing all your luggage you're not bringing all your things and I feel like there is an announcement of your arrival okay we have here this king of pentacles and I'm drawn to this stork uh, there's a bell here and this is like uh, you know the lobby attendant somebody is ringing the bell to announce their their arrival to announce that hey I need room and board hey I, can you put me up for the night so you might be traveling and seeing people staying at hotels you might be crashing with another person you might be you know there there's definitely celebratory energies about people coming together reconnecting and especially people who are long awaiting your arrival okay somebody has like put up a bed for you or you know they're cleaning up a room a guest room for you to stay in they're cleaning up a bed they're really anxiously waiting your arrival and I feel like this might for many of you be like a long like an old friend um, an, an old friend I also feel like there is somebody here who is tremendously missing your presence okay we have here the high priestess and what I have is this owl and this moon and this is somebody who is contemplating you know th this denotes to me usually um, a person who's very very um, 
they have a really strong maternal vibe about them. They care about animals. They love nature. They're they're kind of like, you know, someone who's not very materialistic, okay? They live out in nature. They enjoy nature. They don't want to hurt animals and, and things like that. It's someone who has a really good heart. They have a really strong sense of uh, intuition. I'm, um, I'm drawn to say someone who might be like a pescatarian or a vegetarian just because they really, really love animals and they don't want to, you know, inflict animal cruelty. And so what I'm sensing is there's somebody here that greatly thinks about you. They think about the good times. They think about, you know, like all the times, all the trips that you might have taken together, all the good scenery, the sights, the views that you might have enjoyed together, that sense of camaraderie between you and them that um, they haven't either you're out of touch or either you're not really in um in contact with them i feel like they're heavily heavily thinking about this i'm also feeling for many of you as well there's a situation here potentially a lover or potentially like a, a budding relationship okay it's somebody that had a lot of relationship potential but for some of you you might have had to travel and move away from this person because work and career demanded of you, okay? You wanted to be here, king of pentacles, someone who is financially very, very stable, someone who is just, you know, who was able to take care of himself, someone who's able to, um, you know, have like a really, um, just have like someone who feels comfortable in their work environment. So whatever that situation was, I feel like there was a move and there might have been like a leaving behind of a budding romance or a budding relationship that had a lot of potential. You saw that it had a lot of potential, but you had to leave it behind. You had to go mainly because, you know, duty calls, right? So for some of you, this could be like even a military um, type of a departure okay like having to go for military training and not knowing when you're going to be back having to be deployed somewhere else having to be stationed in another city another area but either way there was a situation here that you kind of um, think back about and you're just like what if things were different what if the other person's willing to move with me what if you know I had stayed what would my life look like so I feel like this is um, I almost want to say it's uh, the one that got away but the energy is not strong enough to indicate that okay so keep in mind we are doing this only for the month of October and so the energy is more like a, a, a misconnection or something like that rather than the great love or the one that got away so I feel like it's a little bit more subtle it has the potential to come back together if there's communication but I do see two people you know just like night and day right this is like midnight and this is like kind of like in the heat of the sun in the heat of the day um, where two people are like almost worlds apart two people value different things one person values more of the spiritual side the the non-material side and then this person values greatly the physical the tangible the material side so there's definitely some type of a values differences between the two of you so for example I'm seeing one person might be very very uh, intent and and just you know purposeful when it comes to settling down having a home buying property achieving and climbing that career ladder whereas the other person is like very idealistic I want to change the world I want to travel there's more to life than just accumulation of wealth and so I feel like this is a night and day differences in ideologies differences in the things that you value and as a result of it the connection is great. I feel like there's a mutual, you know, admiration and, and love and, and care between you and another person. But the way that it, it, it um, it's playing out right now, um, events, circumstances is kind of like driving you apart and you have to leave. OK, so that's what I'm, I'm sensing here um, outside of your control. You, you have to leave, you have to go, you have to seek more stability for yourself. And where you are heading towards is, we have here the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is basically building up your empire so that you can give back in some way, okay? This is greatly a card about karma. And I believe all of the signs that I've done readings for have had this card. This card is choosing to come out multiple times in different um, signs reading. And this is a really good card where, you know, hard work pays off, okay? For other signs, what I felt is like all the good deeds that you've done, 
they're coming back home to roost, especially for the Pisces and the Aquarius, because they're more humanitarian oriented. I feel like with your energy, this is like working very diligently, working very, very hard, balancing that karmic scale, you know, nose to the grindstone, minding your own business, being your own person, and just, you know, uh, being diligent and conscientious about the work that you contribute or the, the, the work that you, you do and the, the contributions you make to the larger society. And what it's telling me here is there's definitely um, hard work paying off okay um, you've slaved away and so you're able to you know have a lot of financial resources at your disposal um, you know how to live with less you're not living outside of your means you're not being frivolous and swander and wasteful with your money and I feel like it has been a number of years of possibly about six years time where you kind of have to be you know it's like you're making the money but you're not squandering it. You're able to save up, you're able to have that nest egg, and you're able to, you know, afford like nice vacations and afford nice things for yourself when the time calls for it, okay? So I feel like you're in an environment where you're feeling really stable and really good, and you're able to decorate your house no matter like how, however you want. You're able to buy nice things. You're able to, you know, just afford like a lot of luxuries but you're not flashy about it. So money is coming in plentifully and I feel like you're just in a very good position where you have a lot of risk. It's like you work hard, so you have a lot of respect for the resources that you bring in. You have a lot of pride with the things that you buy, mainly because you know you, you've done like, you know, ethical and good work and, and you've, you've um, you're proud of the contributions that you make in order to get that money so I, I definitely feel here there's a sense of smugness pride and just um uh, satisfaction overall with the work that we do okay uh once again i'm drawn to this little farmer in the background i hope you can see he's uh he's harvesting okay so it's like the the seeds have been planted and now he's harvesting, which drives well very, very nicely with the Six of Pentacles. Hard work paying off, okay? So, what I'm seeing here at the end of this month is we have a major homecoming, okay? This is someone who's like getting news that you're coming into the picture. You're kind of like this boat coming ashore, coming closer to this person. And um, the King of uh, Cups, this could be, you know, somebody who is like, who, who really, really cares about you. This is someone who's very emotionally stable. This is someone where there is an, an emotional, a, a deep rooted, unconditional emotional connection between you and them. Okay. So usually I think of it as like family. Usually I think of it as like best friends or somebody that no matter how uh, crazy they, they, they get, you know, you, you still forgive them, you still love them, right? Like, it's really unconditional love, and so I'm inclined to say uh, family, okay? Um, I also feel for some of you, if you are seeing this person too, there's a kind of like an emotional roller coaster, and understandably, because you guys are a fire sign and this person is a water sign, they're a little bit more like in their emotion. But but with this energy, it's someone who's very emotionally controlled. Okay, um, in a way, I'm sensing if you're dealing with this water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, you might have wanted to get a rise out of out of them. You might have felt like they weren't really um, expressive. Uh, with their emotions you might have felt like they weren't really revealing of themselves but what I'm seeing with this person is they're just very emotionally controlled okay they feel like there's a time and a place for everything so I'm not I'm only gonna express myself you know uh, when the time is right okay so this is someone who really cares about you they're thinking about you there's a lot of emotions washing over them and they're um, they're contemplating or they're thinking about your voyage home is, is what I'm hearing. So I don't know if you're planning to visit. I don't know if you're planning to uh, come by. I don't know what is happening here, but I, I just feel like, you know, they're awaiting your arrival, okay? So I feel like that message, subject of much debate, they're thinking about you. They might be talking about other people about you in a good way and also um like uh, awaiting your arrival awaiting your arrival okay so that that's a really strong message here um 
in a way, I feel like there might have been a few things that you've done in the past where you might have provoked this person because you wanted them to express more of their emotions. But they're they're very calm and very uh, like like a, a lake, okay, like a very calm lake. The surface is very very still and very calm. However, there's a lot of depth to this person, so I definitely feel like they'd feel things in a great way, but uh, they don't really express it and they don't really show it. Um, for some of you, it might have been a very uh, turbulent type of a relationship, okay? It's paired up here with the Seven of Wands. This is about conflict. This is about being stubborn, okay? What I'm feeling as well, and uh, Aries, I I'm sensing like you might have wanted to provoke this person. You might have wanted to elicit some type of an emotional response from this person. This person is really calm and very wise and they give very, very good advice. And I feel like they you, they were the one that you might have come to for a lot of advice in the past. And for whatever reason, they see you as being a little bit reckless, okay? So if this is somebody who is like a love interest, I feel like they're going to need a lot more um, stability from you in order for them to feel safe and in order for them to want to pursue things a little bit more long term with you. For others, I'm sensing like there might have been like an emotional roller coaster. Okay, look at that tide, that tidal wave, it's massive. This is someone who has also been through a lot in their lives and things don't really face them. They're just, you know, go with the, the flow and, and pretty much, you know, like, um, uh, they they don't get phased, they don't get stressed out, they don't get frazzled, and so their calmness is kind of a is, is a very soothing influence on you. But I'm also feeling like it can be really frustrating when you're dealing with someone because you guys are very very much expressive, right? You're expressive with your thoughts, with your emotions, and so this person scares you a little bit, or they might frustrate you because they're so like calm and just centered. And so there might have been, you know, just ideological differences in the way that you do things. They might think that you're a little bit rash and impulsive, and you might think that they're too much in their their head and they're like holding back clamming up and not expressing their emotions and as a result of it I feel like there's a, a, a second chance here to kind of work some things out or to get like a mutual understanding between you and another person to hash some things out okay um, for the majority of the, the month for the rest of the month I'm seeing a lot of collaboration here okay so first of all we have a situation where we have two threes this is about fun, excitement, a little bit on the superficial end, but it's still, you know, nevertheless fun and excitement. This is something that is very substantive, okay? So we have three of cups, fun, gathering, and, and you know, just laughter and, and uh, jokes and things like that. The three of pentacles is about, you know, seriousness, serious collaboration, sharing ideas, sharing best practices, picking each other's brains, and especially, um, sharing with each other like uh, our skills our expertise and the way that we do things so that things can be built on a solid foundation so i definitely feel there was a situation here where many of you might have been with another person where the other person just felt almost like i'm sensing two people you know one person cares about the material things the other person cares about the spiritual things and so you can have fun together you care about each other there's definitely a depth of emotion but the connection emotional connection was was absent absolutely absent and now we have a situation where there's something of substance something of value there's somebody that you might want to you know you, you've either met the one or you're in the process of meeting the one where you feel like okay this can go the distance because we're on the same page okay um, the only thing that I'm seeing is this person was very calm and cool and collected. This person has a little bit more turbulence to them. I'm not saying it's the water sign. I'm just saying this energy over here. And so you kind of have to, you know, come into it with an agenda like, hey, let's talk about this. Let's hash these things out. Let's iron these wrinkles. Let's uh, talk about how we can resolve these issues. So this is a very solutions oriented, you know, um, get out there and find the, if there's a problem, there's a solution, which is very much your energy, Aries. So I feel like there's a situation here where people are coming to you and they're asking you for advice. How do I resolve this? Picking your brains. Hey, you're familiar with this. You've done this 
in the past. Can you give me some pointers? So I definitely feel you're in a position where you're giving a lot of yourself, not only materially, but also like providing expertise and skills, okay, to, to help another person. And then I'm also seeing as well, this is um, usually like speaking engagement, okay? One person who's taking the orders of other people or one person who's showing other people exactly what they're doing. So I feel like in a work environment, there might be, you know, you're, you, you want to keep to yourself and you want to, you know, nose to the grindstone, just mind your own business. But I feel like there's a little bit of monitoring, okay? Um, like a higher up or somebody coming by like hey what are you doing today what have you done today what did you do Wednesday what were your accomplishments for this week there's a lot of like bookkeeping monitoring um, which is something that which is something that um, Aries don't really fire signs I feel in general don't really like to stay on top of and don't really care for but I feel like you want to make sure that you're um, you're itemizing all the the work and all the things that you're doing okay so that is all that I have for you for the month of October Aries I wish you all the best have a wonderful blessed rest of September and enjoy your October let those guards down let the guard down okay um, leave those sticks on the ground i don't feel like you're in a position where you need to um be on the defense okay if you're dealing with new bosses i feel like there's a very benevolent person who's very capable and i feel like this person is a little bit curious about you and they want to pick your brains and they want to know how you would do things okay so you will be in a position where you're offering a lot of help a lot of assistance to other people um I also want to say I'm no longer giving readings. I do have a colleague of mine that is um, a reader. She's a tarot reader. She's a psychic and she's phenomenal and I highly recommend her. I've included a link to her um, scheduling webpage. It's in the description box below. And I apologize that I've been away for so long. Uh, my main job, my main work is was it was really, really taxing. It was like mentally and physically just taxing. And so it was really overwhelming trying to stay uh, on top of that. And so I feel like I have a pretty good handle on it right now. I hope so. And so I'm going to go back to, you know, doing readings, but I can only commit the time to do like one round of reading for each sign per month. Okay. So there won't be a monthly, but either way, I hope this reading resonates. I hope it is helpful for you in your journey. And I hope you are going to be uh, enjoying, you know, the month of October. It looks really good. All right. So take care of yourself, Aries, and I'll talk to you guys soon, uh, maybe next month, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.